Good morning, collective. Good morning. It's going to be a magical day today because everything worked out for us because we're highly favored and we're so loved. I'm so grateful to be here. And Carl, <laughs> Spirit says Carl. So Carl, I'm so pleased that you could join us. Check your home. Cleanse your home. Collective, I hope you're doing your, your spiritual hygiene because shit is crazy out here in the streets. Spiritual attacks, black magic, couples under illusions. It's getting crazy out there and there's a lot of karmic justice going on. So I don't know what's going to happen. The last three reads I did is this tale, this interwoven tale of deceit and betrayal and magic. <gasps> Gotta cleanse for this one. Cleanse, cleanse it, cleanse it. Cleanse you. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, loved ones, beings of love and light. Please send out a golden bubble of love and light to protect my space. Alright. Okay. Thank you so much, Grandma. Mm, paying homage to my ancestors. I love you. Mwah. Love you, Grandma. Okay. Me, 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 me. Oh. Beautiful. Thank you so much, spirits. Drink. All right, Spirit, thank you so much for being with us. As always, these are timeless collective reads, so it can be past, present, or future. Don't make it fit where I don't feel like it fits. If it doesn't fit, then you just keep listening to enjoy the story, the collective tea, and maybe there'll be something else in the message that will ring true to you it's all about going by the way you feel if something doesn't feel good then just leave it where it is and if it does feel good make a mental note of it don't attach yourself to it but be an observer of it add it to the data to the database all right Destroy. my name's patience i'm a psychic intuitive and host of spirit news on spotify where we teach you about your non-physicalness with my spirit team, the Guild of the Golden Triangle. I feel so, um, almost like flu-like symptoms, but I'm not sick. I'm going, I have ascension symptoms, so I'm apparently, according to spirit, when you have ascension, your body has to uh, catch up with the vibration, the rays of your vibration or the clearing of your frequency field. So your body has to catch up with that so you'll feel flu-like symptoms. So lots of stuffiness, but I feel really good physically. So whatever, you know, small price to pay for a little play. <laughs> All right, let's do that. I'm ready. So far, our spirit's saying, omen, destroy omen. Don't, don't do me like that. Come on. Give me agape. Agape. Accept all. Reject none. Okay. Okay. I like that. I like that. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. The venom. Sideways. sword let me pull them 
the myth sick. I'm sorry, my assumption. My assumption symptoms making me a little contested. The myth sick. So I'm here. I'm here. The mystic? The mystic here? Spirit says I'm here. I sure I just heard I never left. The crony again. I had this yesterday. Come on. Let me pull one more, okay? I mean, too many perfects. The queen. So what? <laughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry. So there seems to be a third party situation going on here. Excuse me? Possibly a four party situation? So Agape is Re accept all, reject none. And the mystic is under agape. And the lover. And venom is with the crony. The sword. And the queen upside down. feeling from this so far is that Gabriel. Gabriel could be significant is that this mystic is a lover not a fighter but there was a queen and a crony with a venomous type of energy that had a, a sword, kind of like a live by the sword, die by the sword energy. But this mystic, she's a, she's a lover. She, she, you know, or he, she, uh, is about accept all, reject none. This queen upside down, she's not a good one. <laughs> she's not a good queen. And I think that the crony is hers. I think that she is the villain. And the crony is the queen's minion. <sighs> okay. Alexander. What? Alexander. Gabriel or Alexander could be significant. Okay. Let me get some tarot to help us. Clarify spirit. Can you please? Oh, okay. Lack of money, poor finance. Oh, here it is again. Yesterday. This story is super prominent across the collective. 
Ace of Pentacles uh, upside down. Lack of money, poor financial control, lack of opportunities or lost opportunities for this queen. Crony. And poet. The poet. This is that group of three I bet. Because I got the crony, the poet, and the queen. This is the group of three that was doing those let me not assume it's the same. Let me draw another card. It could be different than yesterday. Let me not assume. Spirit, tell me more about this trio. The poet, the crony, and the queen. With a venomous energy, venom type energy. <sighs> Living by the sword. I'm getting real stuffy during this reading. What is going on? Like, someone doesn't want me to... My voice is getting scratchy. What is happening? Spirit says there's something wrong here. Yeah, something's wrong here, all right? These people doing crazy things for no reason. It's too many spirits for this. <laughs> Not, they're popping out. So just tell me about these three, this trio. Just tell me why. Lovers again. Major choices. Temptation. Being put to the test. Desire sexual connections. So it happened because there was a love triangle? Yes. Some kind of love triangle? I heard friends with benefits. Queen of Wands, upside down. Seduction, lies. Moralistic person who try to impose their values on others. wands was like again seduction we had the siren yesterday using seduction as a means of manipulation tricking this trio into something with with losing abundance the investment oh. the moon Illusion. <gasps> Deception. Who's in the back seat? What you doing back there? <laughs> oh, that's just me. I'm in the back seat. Uh, anxiety, fear. I am so stuffy right now. What? Uh -oh. I rebuke anything that doesn't want me to get this message out. You better get out of here. Go on, get, 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 get. Cha! By the call of the crow, I send it, say, let it go. Caw, 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 caw. That's how you do it. Alright. So. Some kind of deception, lie, conditioning of behavior so this queen of wands basically lied or created an illusion some kind of deception 
vagueness either of their own instability and insecurity or about this investment that led to lost opportunities <coughs> or both. <coughs> Okay, so who's this Queen of Wands? Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. That's the seductress. <laughs> Uses her body for money. Or not for money, but for uh, manipulation. So <laughs> I got, I just pulled three of swords reversed. And it says, releasing pain, overcoming depression, optimism, forgiveness. The worst is over. When I asked about who this Queen of Wands is, and then Spirit said, incorrect. <laughs> so, perhaps that's what she's wanting in this moment, but this not, that's not what is happening. <laughs> okay, well, let's see if we can go a little deeper. Tell me more about cigarette. Spirit just said cigarette, so maybe someone smoked cigarettes. Maybe this Queen of Wands smoked cigarettes, or she or they used to smoke cigarettes. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. Spirit, please tell me more about this Queen of Wands. Thank you so much. Find your animal spirit. Alright. Thursday. Sagittarius. So this female, or this Queen of Wands could be a Sagittarius. Or December could be significant. They're a cheater. They're getting karma. Karma. What are they getting karma for, Spirit? Can you tell me what they're getting karma for? Hey, baby, hold on. really give up about trying to stop that, stop that. <laughs> so said, someone said, stop that. I love you. We're not going to stop. We're going to keep going. Because if you don't want me to, if you want me to stop, then I'm going to keep going. So let's see. Spirit, please tell me why they have karma. Documents. Documents? <gasps> Did they do something with documents? What kind of documents? Spirit, please tell me about these documents. Clarify with tarot. Clarify with tarot. Okay. Okay, okay. Clarify with tarot. Okay. Spirit, please tell me about this karma, about the Sagittarius. about these documents. Five of Swords. Defeat. Surrender. Change. Walking away. Self-sacrifice. Self-sabotaging behavior. Underhanded. <gasps> Deception. Lack of communication. Bullying. Abuse. What? Society. Society. Crimes against society? Wow. Yep. 
that gets you karma. <laughs> so something with documents and underhanded behavior and deception. Please continue to clarify the documents. Knight of Swords. Six. Six. Six could be significant. A strong, assertive, decisive person. One who gets what he or she wants. Seizing opportunities. Oh. So, this Sagittarius Queen of Wands reversed. Seized an opportunity uh, hastily on a rash, on a whim, very rashly. Uh, but she's very assertive and probably didn't want anyone to uh, question her authority or there's some kind of power. This person has some kind of uh, god complex or something. <sighs> the hermit reversed. But now, because of this, whatever they did, paralyzed by fear, withdrawn, reclusive, paranoia, loneliness. I honor my spiritual self. They didn't honor their spiritual self. Whatever, and they didn't honor anyone else's spiritual self. They only honored their selves. And it involved a lot of people. Whatever they decided was right for them, they didn't think about anybody else. They were out for themselves and they were making hasty decisions on opportunities that, you know. Basically, I'll get what I want. This person's used to getting whatever they want, no matter what. They probably have done some things like this all the time. Because why else would you be so confident to, to put so many people's lives on the line? For money, essentially. Damn. You know, why don't we why don't we go head away from uh, the trio and you tell me more about the mystic? Because the mystics over here just in agape, just being the lover by by themselves, not bothering nobody. Literally, like a mystic's gonna be someone who's balanced, who's fair, who's who's honest, who's authentic, who can see, who probably has some kind of Psychic gift. Oh. Ten of Cups. <coughs> <coughs> I cannot make it up. It makes me so happy. It's almost like uh, it's separate. Like it's two different worlds, you know? Like, one, they're both happening at the same time, but they're not uh, part of the same timeline. That's interesting. Oh, restriction. Eight of Swords, I cannot make it up. These people cannot go with the mystic. They've, it's like a, maybe a cycle's ended. Feeling trapped, restricted, backed into a corner, hands tied, victimized, paralyzed by fear. But, you know, M Mr. Miss Mystic over here. Harmony, happy, family, gatherings, long-term relationships, stability, security, domestic bliss. Oh. 
Let me just fill that. Let me just fill you with some love real quick from the heart space for that. Oh, I just gave you a hug. Did you feel it? Oh, good for you, buddy. You know, nobody wins here. You know? You think... Yeah. The spirit says agree. <laughs> nobody... Because this mystic was loyal, was would have done anything for the these people for this for whoever this person was connected to them and they didn't deserve what was done to them and nobody stood up for them nobody nobody even asked this person about any of this they were it was all behind their back so very weird. I don't know. Let's continue. So that's awesome. This mystic's definitely coming in for a win. And five of cups. <laughs> Loss. Oh damn. Uh, shoot. Oh damn. Well, as a healer myself, I know I don't, you know, as much as people would, in the moment of an emotion, might be like, that's what they get, you know, that's what they deserve, but really, these are probably people this person is, I mean, really close to, probably someone in their family, and I know I wouldn't want to see someone suffer, I don't want to see anyone suffer. That's why I don't, you know, that's why you gotta be, res you gotta understand your actions have consequences. And it's not just you against the world. <laughs> that's not how it works. Not likely. Spirit says not likely. Yeah, dreams upside down. Seven of cups upside down. And the, f and page of cups upside down. Childhood issues, sexual abuse, bad news, broken dreams. You know what? <sighs> as much as this situation from the last three reads, this is like clearly the ending, the, you know, the, the mystic, the healer, the starborn gets the happy ending because they were over here minding their business healing, working on themselves because they got pushed away by everyone that thought they thought loved them so what else it's like these people thought they painted they made assumptions about somebody that they didn't take the time to know is what happened and because of their mental illness, because of their childhood issues, sexual trauma bad news, broken dreams because they probably weren't sober most of the time under the influence of devil energies and substances. They lacked clarity about how they were projecting everything that they are onto somebody that is the opposite of what they are. Crazy, man. That's crazy. But that's what it's going to be showing them. You know, that's why we have karma. That's why we have towers. Because you get to do it until you learn from it. If you keep on hate. If you keep on hating, Spirit says, you're not going to learn the lesson. You're not learning the lesson. So you're going to keep experiencing <laughs> the same thing. Oh, I love aliens. Maggie's tablet has an alien. Thanks for telling me, buddy. Queen of Pentacles. She's a beauty queen and she's so green. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, Bo. Fertility, prosperity, sensuality responsibility creativity wealth common sense nurturance 
someone concerned with the welfare of others. Yes, Tia. This is this is your starboard right here. She's still gonna get hers. And someone's gonna come someone's gonna someone wants to squash the beef. Someone wants to come to this mystic and and reach out to them. Reach an agreement or apologize or compromise. Five of Wands upside down. So someone's going to come in and they're going to be Ace of Cups outpouring. They're going to present you with a Ace of Cups. But the tower reversed. Resisting change, averting disaster, avoiding tragedy. I think they're only going to come in with a false Ace of Cups because they're avoiding the delay of their tower, the inevitable. I think they, they're going to try to come in for you to like save them or something. Don't do it. I mean, you do what you want. Oh, judgment. Like, you judge what you want. You do what you want, collective, but I would use your intuition to really feel if if this person coming in, I don't know who it is, but they're going to offer you a false ace of cups. An outpouring for a new beginning, a new relationship. Uh, but but it's they're going through a tower so they're going to be hiding that and I feel like they think if they can get in good with you and maybe tell you maybe they're gonna the outpouring is information or documents or something some kind of um, he was killed what? Spirit just said he was killed. Well, I mean, then you re you really better be using your intuition because we don't want to let these people back in. I would just, anyone from your past, I would just say no, honestly, because it's your judgment, though. Uh, just have composure. Decisiveness, don't make any snap judgments. You know, use your be forgiving, but use your your intuition. The daily choices I make now align me with my life's purpose. Yeah, just use your discernment when this person comes in to apologize and say that they're a changed person all of a sudden magically. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Maybe he was killed metaphorically, like, not physically. Or, like, the per the what you knew of this person is dead. So just sign. Sign. Oh, sign documents? Or there's some forged documents or something. Spirit. Wow, too many. Please tell me about what's next. Friendships. Mm -hmm. Yep, I knew it. Yep, there's going to be all kinds of people trying to come back in. I feel like these, these people know about what's coming for you, I feel like. Whatever this abundance is, whether it's a person, if you have marriage, it could be a person or um, 
a business deal or like a promotion um I feel like all these people are going to be coming in at reunion parties they're gonna huh and then we have the king of wands reversed yeah so they're gonna come in wanting to be friends but they're lying. They're lying. A devious person. One whose main focus is self-promotion. So whatever deal they're going to bring to you. Or however they're going to act like they're friends. They're not your friend. They just want you to save them from their tower again. So beware of all the people coming around the woodworks. What's this? King of Cups. Another King of Cups. Upside down. Scheming, fraud, probably an alcoholic or a drug addict. So, and two of wands reversed. Yeah, failed, failed negotiation. Aaron, spirit says Aaron. Aaron could be significant. Indecis indecisiveness, restricted options. Yeah, don't trust anyone from your past. Okay, collective. How can the collective? move forward to protect themselves and their abundance. Oh! I cannot make it up! The chariot! Oh. Victory! Ha ha! Overcoming obstacles, success, ambition, determination, willpower, control, self-discipline, hard work, focus, triumphant, progress, mastery, no obstacle will stop me now. <laughs> Mystic Collective, all you gotta do is just relax. God's got it all for you taken care of. You just gotta sit your pretty self in that little chariot seat and let those sphinxes take you away into bliss and happiness. That is beautiful. I could cry. It's so beautiful to cry. Tell me more about this marriage. Is this true person? I want to be more on the mystic side. I already know what's going on with this trio, you know? Tell me more about the mystic. What is this? What's in store? Oh, a rhinestone. <gasps> King of Swords. Oh, is a is the truth is coming in. <gasps> what? The truth is coming in. Detached, unemotional, analytical man of authority. So some kind of official or man of authority could be coming forward with uh, intelligence or about a truth what? <coughs> oh. but he's uncertain spirit says uncertain I'm certain about coming forward, Spirit says. When I think of a someone of authority, I think of like a boss or like uh, maybe like a judge or like a police officer, maybe. The star. Coming in to help the star. The universe shows me that I can have faith in my dreams. Magazine? Magazine? <gasps> Could this person, this man might work for a magazine? Maybe he has his own magazine and he sees this mystic as a star uh, and rec is inspired by them. Um, looks at them in a positive light for healing and realizes their spirituality is positive. 
What? Okay, so you could be getting a bunch of people coming to you, but you're gonna have to figure out which ones are good and which ones are bad. You're gonna have to use that with your discernment because I think you're gonna feel the ones that aren't gonna be the ones that are trying to hold on for dear life for you to save them could be uh, up to a four or five maybe even six so but there's one king of swords who could possibly work for a magazine or something like that that's coming forward with the truth or wants you to speak your truth because they see you as the star. <coughs> <coughs> so, maybe you have a public platform or something where you are spiritual or you show your spiritual gifts. Um, or you're a healer of some kind in the public. Wow, that's cool. Get it, girl, boy. Sure. <laughs> Spirit says, sure. I said, get it. They said, sure. Oh, let me see what else. Tell me more about this King of Swords. Oh, oh that's okay. No problem. No, don't worry about it. We'll get it later. Don't worry about it, buddy. Yeah, just leave it. I'll get it. It's no big deal. Returning from travel or holidays, restriction, bad timing, losing momentum out of control, too fast, a pace, theft, opposition. <sighs> Is this what they were trying to steal from you? Because it says theft. So maybe they knew about this opportunity for you. <coughs> And we're trying to steal it for them. Miraculously, uh, Spirit says. Two of Swords in reverse. Indecision, delays, postponement, seeing the truth, lies being exposed. Gregory could be significant. So they're trying to cause delays for this King of Swords, but they're seeing the truth now and lies are being exposed about something. What is, where are lies are being exposed? What lies are being exposed, Spirit? What lies are being exposed to the King of Swords? Or what lie was kept from the King of Swords? What? <laughs> King of Pentacles reverse. Death reverse. And six of wands, <laughs> recognition. I'm willing to let go of a past version of myself. So they were trying to stop this opportunity. So the mystic couldn't move forward. So they'd be afraid of new opportunities, so they'd be codependent. So they'd be codependent on them for material, for money, 
people do anything for money. Wow. But, but whatever lie is coming out, it's giving recognition. Fame, supporters, celebrity, fans, well-wishers, being in the spotlight, riding high. Whatever lies coming out that they tried to keep from, whatever opportunity they're trying to steal from this mystic is actually going to propel them into stardom or a claim or a recognition. Yeah! Hell yeah! That's awesome! Oh yeah! I like how the and is. Hey, let's see what else. Let's get an animal card. Oh wait, wait, wait. Let's see some colors. Spirit, tell me more about this opportunity. Tell me more about this opportunity. Don't have fear. Don't fear ghosts from the past. Don't fear all ghosts from the past. Don't let your passion cloud your consciousness. Make sure you rest. it says portal maintain your peace do your cleansing say no to anger keep your energy moving let it unfold for you let it be a mystery the mystery is the magic you guys let it unfold naturally no need for anxiety no need to fill up space use your intuition to let it flow don't stop having strength sadness isn't necessary as you're protected protection okay okay that's awesome you have lots of good news coming. I think we go with the flow. Use your intuition. Let me get some shadow cards. So that some shadows are to look out for. There's some shadows that they can look out for to help them clear. Uh, that. Okay, so just be mindful of old ways kind of creeping in old people like this is supposed to be like that let it be let it be let things die that don't serve you anymore don't go back don't go backwards don't be rigid watch your versatility you know you want to be fluid don't be so rigid that it going with the flow is even if you're uncomfortable you are in a paradox right now because you're leaving a reality you're you're actually living in a two separate realities and one you're not a participant in and they're not a participant in yours so just be the observer there's nothing you really need to do at this point except Don't rest stare. god says except rest be the explorer, go outside, do more exploring with whatever it is that you do that's going to propel you into recognition. Um, don't get too wild, you know, keep it clean, keep your vessel clean, do your soul work. This is a time for soul work, for strength. Whatever this opportunity is, it's gonna it's gonna need you to be at a certain level of strength. 
for you to even manifest it. So these are the things you just gotta keep on working on. The sovereign, keep setting your boundaries, keep living in ten toes down, grounded, rooted type of energy. And dare to dream. Dare to dream big. You can create anything you want. And if people are out to get you and hating on you, that means you're doing something right. So keep doing it. The outlaw, yes, the outlaw is not a criminal. The outlaw is doing things differently. Agonizing. Ag yeah, it is agonizing, I'm sure. The underworld. You need the underworld. You need the underworld to be on top of it. You can't be on top of something that has nothing underneath. Oh. oh! The pillar, speaking of. Be the pillar in an underworld. Mm. It's fate, honey. They can't change your fate. They can't take it. Just have compassion for them. Have compassion for yourself. You are the revolution of the new world. We're literally switching timelines and changing paradigms over here. So you're doing good. It was a rough cycle. I can see that it was rough and you're just learning about a lot of stuff now. But the best is yet to come. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.